It's big yellow and looks like a toy many of us had as a kid. But is SnowRunner's Caterpillar 745C location worth finding? Here are the pros and cons from someone who's used it way too much. Hello and welcome to my latest SnowRunner video. This time it's the pros and cons of the Caterpillar 745C, one of the game's weirder vehicles. Now first things first, what is the Caterpillar 745C's location? The answer is Alaska, specifically the second map known as Mountain River. You can get here by finding an open tunnel in Northport and then complete a mission known as Working Stiff. Bit awkward for your fellow employees. Anyway, like most missions in SnowRunner, you have to drag something from one place to another. In this case, tow the Caterpillar 745C to the sawmill and repair it using a service truck, service trailer, or something that can repair and refuel, like a scout with the right add-on. Once repaired, taken to the sawmill and you get the mission is completed reward, you can then press up to change truck to the Caterpillar 745C. If the mission won't complete, this is apparently a bit of a bug, so just restart the game and then come back and all should be fine. I would then hit recover and send it back to a garage to save time, then swap to your other truck and do the same. You can check out my 25 essential tips, tricks and secrets video for more on that kind of stuff. Anyway, pro number one, it's an absolute mud monster. Mud is one of SnowRunner's most difficult to navigate obstacles. In fact, in Russia, you'll really struggle to use vehicles that aren't made for off-roading or have all-terrain or off-road tires fitted. Like the also mud-friendly ANK MK38 truck, the Caterpillar 745C has mud-focused tires from the off. A whopping 71 inches, in fact. That's what she said. No, maybe not. Even in Russia's second and third maps where things get really tricky, this vehicle can thrive. Honestly, if you think Alaska's bad, you ain't seen nothing yet. Number two, the way it steers can be a blessing. Rather like a snake, the Caterpillar 745C can weave around and in and out of obstacles. Sometimes that ability to turn on the spot can help you get out of particularly difficult situations or just line yourself up for a thin bridge or crossing. You can also steer while going up a steep slope and have the front facing the way you want for when you come back down, which can be really handy when turning around if space is limited. It can even help you winch out of a jam with some careful left and right movements. There is, however, a catch to its articulated nature, but more on that later. Number three, upgrades make it even more unstoppable. Yes, funnily enough, adding upgrades to any truck in SnowRunner can make it better depending on the situation. But the Caterpillar 745C's main attraction is uh, traction and the advanced gearbox emphasizes that. For one thing, this upgrade gives you a low, mid and high speed low gear. So no more painfully slow progress in poor conditions. Then there's the lockable diff, which allows this yellow hunk of metal to cruise up incredibly steep surfaces like they're not even there. Slapping that beastie top end Westline V16 engine, also used in the Western Star 6900, and it's basically unstoppable. You can find that engine upgrade in Alaska's Pedro Bay up a very steep and winding mountain path. Scout trucks need only apply. Number four, no terrain will get in the way. It's not just mud that the Caterpillar 745C shines in. It wears snow, steep hills, and large rocks like a hat too. It's also incredibly hard to tip over, offers decent ground clearance, and the non-existent front overhang lets you come down steep slopes and not get stuck. Honestly, there are very few trucks that can go off the beaten track quite like this beast. Number five, you can make it into the ultimate cargo or fuel carrier. Tired of looking at a metal frame? You can upgrade the Caterpillar 745C with one of two frame upgrades, both unlocked at slightly later levels. The first is a cargo bed, which lets you put on two bits of cargo. This one makes it one hell of a delivery vehicle. Alternatively, you can use it to carry fuel. Do so, and there is absolutely nowhere you cannot take fossil fuels, whether that's for a rescue effort or simply topping up another truck remotely. So what about the cons of the Caterpillar 745C? Number one, speed can be an issue. Despite good progress on tarmac, the Caterpillar 745C is a slow beast, especially before you get the aforementioned advanced gearbox upgrade. Compared to the ANK MK38, it's actually positively glacial. But then progress is always progress, and at least you can fix the issue somewhat. 
To be fair, it's certainly not the slowest truck in SnowRunner, I'll say that much. Admittedly, it can actually build up good speed on roads, but then it's a complete nightmare to steer. Even if you use the left trigger to move the camera back a bit, which can sometimes help reduce the twitchiness issue, you will crash a lot. It takes about three seconds for a full steer from left to right, and that means it needs constant driver focus. Unless, of course, you like going off-road and into solid objects. Number two, thirsty is an understatement. Despite a large fuel tank capacity of around 340 litres, the Caterpillar can romp through fossil fuel like Pac-Man through yellow blobs. Engage the diff lock all-wheel drive under low gear, and 20 litres plus can pass in just a minute. And if you don't think that's a lot, well, you try drinking 10 bottles of Coca-Cola in that time. Number three, the way it steers can be a nightmare too. Remember I said about that articulated nature being a pro? Well, it's also a con because the gap between the front cab and articulated rear seems to be a magnet for tree roots, tree stumps, tree branches, and basically anything that can ruin your day. This is especially true if the front wheels take off, and they do quite a lot, and then you land on something you shouldn't have. Not only that, in thick mud or other tight gaps, it can actually stop you from steering at all. Effectively, you're wedged with only forwards and backwards as an option, if you're lucky. Not ideal. That and its gigantic turning circle make it less effective on thin pathways. And don't even bother with dense forest. Number four, the customization is a bit meh. Let's put it like this. I hope you like yellow because that's all you can have the Caterpillar 745C in. Makes sense given it's made by a company that was clearly inspired by a bumblebee. However, it's also not particularly upgradable in other areas either. For example, there's no snorkel so deep water can be an issue. Nor can you add a crane for picking up cargo to put in the back. In fact, there are very few practical upgrades, nor can you put on flashing lights or fog lights or any kind of light, actually. Basically, what you see is what you get. Number five, you can't tow trailers. My last point is also the worst thing about the Caterpillar 745C, and one that makes it quite a niche vehicle, sadly, and it's that you cannot tow trailers. You can winch them along very nicely, yes, but it cannot attach a trailer properly. You can't even buy a trailer when driving this truck from the trailer store. This is good and bad in SnowRunner, at least at the time of making this video. Bad because you cannot load cargo into a trailer connected by a winch. You have to use another vehicle to do this, then swap to the Caterpillar 745C and winch that trailer with the cargo. But, and this is the good news, you can deliver goods to complete a mission when a trailer is being winched. Hooray! Which means the Caterpillar 745C basically gets all of the glory and the fun bit. So would I recommend this truck? Well, for when the towing get <laughs> when the towing gets guff. <laughs> for when the going gets tough, and for when other trucks have failed, absolutely. Look past its lack of trailer support, and you'll find yourself using it for SnowRunner's most extreme terrain. Cheers to that. It can be incredibly annoying, but once you get used to it, it will very rarely let you down. And that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, probably for more of these truck pros and cons. So if there's a truck you particularly like and want me to talk about, then let me know in the comments. Anyway, take care, bye.